All right, welcome to the channel. Storm cleanup again. That's right. What I did is peel back this section of carpet. I need a dry spot to slide them onto, so I'm drying this out. The whole thing is soaked, and thank God it's indoor outdoor carpet. I'm going to hang it over the uh, fence of the dog kennel, let it dry out. It looks like we got more rain coming. Imagine that. Let's go outside and take a look, guys. All right, we got some high, high winds. Ain't too bad, but that's normal around here. All right, what a night. I fought that till about 7 this morning. I was up all night long. And let me show you over here. This was all dirt. Look at all this rock. This is what this property looks like. Now that's all rock. let's address this over here I just got back from Oklahoma and I seen places flooded that I've never seen flooded look at this gorilla cart guys full to the top and over here we got a bucket that's about 10 inches high full to the top and that was empty yesterday that was empty I just took it out of there that's full so we got way over six inches of rain and it came down hard so had i not put the gravel down i believe it would have been much worse putting that gravel down probably saved the entire cabin so what needs to happen is i need to go in here I, i'm gonna hire a guy with an excavator but as you can see this property let me get a better angle it slopes upward or downward okay and then it goes up here so all the rain works its way down here so yes it's going to need a french drain and actually it has one because if you'll go back on my videos i dug a two foot hole all the way along here filled it with gravel but uh, it just couldn't handle everything it was throwing at it last night and the ditch was working fine it was still flowing into the ditch but as you can see here still got water so I'm gonna get a guy in it with an excavator I think what we need to do is kind of work this back a little maybe take some of this dirt and slope it and have the French drain right here shut up Libby she, she wants out but she won't stay out all right let's go take a look we had some Severe flooding. Well, are you going to join me, Miss Tilly? Yeah, I don't know where you went last night, but you stayed dry. She's got a place, secret place she goes to. Well, nobody knows where it is, but apparently it's dry and warm. But she's going to get one of uh, Waldo and Lily's dog houses here soon. And actually, man, this water has run off pretty quick. And as you can see down here, it slopes this way. So right in here, we're at a peak. And then up front, it all goes downhill. But you also got all this water running from the mountain. And you can see down in here. Let me see if I can get a good shot. I could walk back there. I don't want to mess with that right now. But all that, that was much worse earlier. It just comes down so fast, you know. You can't deal with it and i only seen it flood worse than this one time and that was in 2012 when i first or 13. Uh, i moved here in 2012 and then we had a major flood in 13. so it happens just something you got to deal with but fortunately there with what's going on with the cabin uh, i can fix that but man and that carpet needs to probably come out anyway. Them puppies would just be pooping all over it and everything else. So just as well. And it'll be good. That was good, clean rainwater coming down. And uh, I'm going to hang it over the dog kennel fence. It'll dry out real good in this wind. And we'll just put it away until the puppies are gone. What do you say to that, Miss Tilly? Uh, yeah, it was quite the night, man finally laid down for about an hour then I went to Oklahoma this is I said in the other one I had to get booze because I'm gonna get drunk tonight stressed 
I know that's not a good answer, but it helps. And then over on the, it's just, I don't know, I'll get the guy out here with the excavator, see what he thinks. That's not gonna be cheap. Just gotta get done. And this here has to be addressed. Water was coming in. Remember when I put flashing tape up there? Well, it don't work. So that little wooden strip in between these roofs, I'm gonna have to put a flashing and a put some of that metal there because the rain was coming straight at it and it was leaking down the middle. I wished I would have just waited to build this because that heat made me rush. It cut corners where they shouldn't have never been cut. It was just too hot. I only had a few hours each morning to work and I was rushing. And uh, I think I'm gonna get some cement blocks or cement landscape uh, step things to run them along here and then run my French drain. Kind of, I may put one there and one there and join them together because this ditch works out well. Man, look at this. I've never had this thing fill up like that. Oh! <laughs> Alright, guys, I got some cleanup to do. Alright, I got the rug up. We got them on that. So if it floods enough, it'll be like a boat to float around. <laughs> that adds a lot of comfort, actually. And that stuff gets wet and ain't gonna hurt it. I got a couple of fans blowing on the floor. Tilly's, or Millie's afraid of the fans. They gotta run. I got this door open. I've got the rug hanging on the fence. That ought to dry up pretty good. And I'll, I'll, if it don't, if it smells bad, I'm gonna just load it up, take it to the car wash. Millie, you get in there with your babies. Those are just fans. You're going to have to get used to them because they're going to be running in the summer. It's okay. Them babies are sleeping. You can take a break. But you you got to go in there. Them fans ain't going to hurt you. See what I'm dealing with? Uh, well, this ought to dry out. I got the ceiling fan going, those two fans. I got the door open. I can't get this mud, but once it dries, I'll be able to sweep it out. I, I I could get my blower and probably dry this all quicker, but I don't. She's scared of this as it is, so I don't want to get her any any more scared. A little pile of bug heads are in there. Well, when they're bigger and out of this thing, you're going to see plenty of these guys. They're getting really big. Yeah, they're probably a couple pounds a piece. All right, guys, just a short video show you what my deal is. I've got all the towels in the dryer and bl other blanket, so I'm going to switch them over to this one. That way I know this one's dry, and there's a dry bed in there. There's a layer. There's also a pad in there, and then there's a towel, and then there's uh, that. It's like a crate pad, pretty thick. And then I'm gonna put a blanket over that, just like I got in there. So then I'll give this one time to, it's really not wet, cause it's a vinyl. So, and I said in the last video that Mary in Texas sent these, it was Eunice. I did correct that in the description. Uh, I was pretty stressed last night when I was kicking all this water out. So I wasn't thinking, doesn't matter. I appreciate them. They, these things, Saved me a lot of trouble. All right, guys, happy trails. All right, I went ahead and ran a mop over it about four times. Got everything up and clean. This should dry pretty quick now. Uh, it really still hasn't come in. I just used Dawn dish soap in the mop because these they're, these babies, their respiratory systems aren't fully developed. So you don't want to use any chemicals around them. You know, Dawn dish soap's fine. And that also kills any germs. And that black stuff was just from the back of the carpet. But I got pretty much all of it up. It's a whole lot better than it was. So now we just let this dry. And uh, that ought to be good. And tomorrow, I'm going to get all this crap out of here. All of it. There's too much. This thing, I think I might take it apart. 
and this Millie's still out here. You, yeah, you're sneaking in. Go on in. Go on in with those babies. They're sleeping. You're all right. That's just a rug. She's still scared of everything, and that she always will be. But you're okay. She always will be, but she'll come to me now. And I think over time she'll get better with that. But stuff like that flapping in the wind scares her. I, I knocked a uh, empty gallon milk jug or water jug on the ground, and she wouldn't come in for ten minutes after that. Come here, sweetie. All right, FedEx. Is it coming to me? No. But man, what is it with FedEx and UPS and the post office that these dogs go nuts over? I ain't figured it out. You gonna bark too, Millie? You go ahead and stay out a little while. Them babies are sound asleep. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're good here now. Uh, like I said, man, I drove, and we did, we did have a death here in this county, probably just a few miles from here. The guy got washed into the river and drowned. It just swept his truck in there. So if you ever come on floodwaters, man, don't go through them. And if you don't know what how high it is, don't even take the chance. So, all right, guys, happy trails. Yeah, I realized I have not ate anything since yesterday morning. Friday morning, or Thursday morning. So, man, I made myself a big batch of spaghetti. Yep. Not the portions that I normally have. Normally I'd fill this plate up. Probably looks big on the camera. Got your Italian sausage in there, you ground chuck. Mmm. Little sharp cheddar cheese on top with some Parmigiani cheese. Wash it down with ice cold unsweet tea. 